today when I woke up, I had an inclination, uh, just a vision, uh, something that's going through my mind. My name is Prentice from Cypher Productions Incorporated, and today I have maybe a seven or eight part series to talk about. And what I want to talk about is equality. It's an angry subject. And it's coming from me through my trials and tribulations. The things that I've gone through in my past and what I'm capable of actually calculating compared to what I'm seeing in the workforce. Things for hundreds of years, men have been the provider. When there wasn't enough work, men always had to keep trying. We had to hunt. We had to fish for food. We had to learn to build homes. When there was hard work to do around the house, it was the men who had to do it. Now in the 90s and the 2000s, there's been a change. Women have been allowed into the workforce before, in some cases, men. It's obviously a screen for the powers that be. But at this lower of the economic levels, some things have become obvious. There's a seriousness in this. There's a difference in thought. And that difference in thought is, is magnified. You can see the problems and the issues that were happening back in the 1900s. It's so obvious and right in your face, but you don't want to see it. The anger of men. Where possibilities are, there are lies. I remember who'd actually put up with a man's lying, cheating, and stealing. Survival specific. I remember the man wanted to shelter his children from his behavior. I remember that lying and cheating and stealing was a threat to our survival. As well in some cases, that same lying, cheating and stealing was a cause of progression. I remember a bored woman would try to force a man out of a home that he's actually built. Woman, I want you to explain something to me. What is your boredom? I remember the man's anger fluctuated. It was dependent upon the current issues and the present problem. I remember the woman, her anger didn't fluctuate. She was usually humble. Either she was humble or a real nag. I remember a woman who got out of line was no longer pretty. When well, now you've invaded the workplace and in large numbers, as you penetrated the workforce, you progressed with nothing on your mind but what you couldn't do back then.